Hi, I'm Laura Schrader. I'm an associate professor in the Department of Cell and Molecular Biology and Neuroscience program at Tulane University. My lab's research is focused on the effects of stress on the brain and body and how chronic stress can lead to pathological conditions such as depression and anxiety disorders, diabetes, and cardiovascular disease. Stress activates two major systems in the body, the autonomic nervous system and the hypothalamo-pituitary-adrenal axis. The activation of the hypothalamo-pituitary-adrenal axis ultimately causes release of the stress hormones glucocorticoids into the general circulation. Glucocorticoids released into the general circulation course throughout the body and act on glucocorticoid receptors in the body as well as the brain. One of the areas of the brain that has a high concentration of glucocorticoid receptors and that we know is affected by stress is the hippocampus that you see here. The location of the, the hippocampus, this banana-shaped structure in the rodent brain as well as here in cross-section. You can see it has this nice linear structure. We have shown that chronic stress impairs hippocampus-dependent memory as well as has multiple molecular effects in the hippocampus. We have recently focused on epigenetic changes. Epigenetic effects are essentially changes in the chromatin that it, that's important for ultimately for gene transcription, but not changes to the DNA itself. For example, as you can see here, we see the genetic material on the chromosome. You see here in blue the DNA wrapped around proteins here called histones, shown in green. Histone acetylation, which is a modulation that causes the DNA to unwind essentially from the, the histones, is important for gene transcription. Histone deacetylation, on the other hand, or removal of the acetyl groups from the histones, causes the, the chromatin to wrap tightly or condense and ultimately leads to decreased gene transcription. We have shown decreased histone acetylation in chronically stressed animals. We have found that inhibition of CERT1 reverses some of the memory impairments and anhedonic effects that we see in chronic stress, therefore suggesting that CERT1 may be a therapeutic target in depression. We are currently investigating pathways upstream of CERT1 to determine why CERT1 is highly activated in chronic stress. This research has led us to investigate sex differences in the response to chronic stress. Women experience stress and anxiety disorders at approximately twice the rate of men. Many theories have been hypothesized to explain this, including socioeconomic theories. However, we believe that there may be basic biological mechanisms in the stress response. We have actually found less molecular effect in the brains of females as opposed to males, and we're currently investigating the mechanisms of the, these effects. I hope you find this research as fascinating as I do. If you're interested, please visit my website for more information.